and welcome everyone. So uh, <laughs> um, I'm Hendrik, I'm your tech host and I can hand it over the introduction. So I will hand it over to myself after I'm done with the tech intro <laughs> and then hand it over to Trent. Welcome everybody. I hope you can hear me just fine so that uh, we are sure that you can hear Trent just fine once uh, we start with the meditation. Welcome everyone who, uh, to all the familiar faces. Welcome to uh, one or two newcomers as well. Um, it looks like at least there's some faces I haven't seen or haven't seen so often. I lost count with <laughs> who joined when. Uh, everybody who is here is the right person and it's the right time for you to be here. It's beautiful, 19 people in total, awesome. Yeah, make sure that your sound system is set and that you sit comfortably. We are recording this call. If you don't want to be seen in the recording because we're uploading the meditations always on YouTube so that everybody who joins us at a later point can also rewatch old meditations or if you feel very connected to one of the meditations that you can rewatch it multiple times. So if you don't want to be seen, just uh, turn off your camera. And your name is also not, even though we see our names here in Zoom when we record it, you, we are not seeing the names in the recording. So no worries about that. Yeah, that's regarding that. It, it's always always very beautiful if you just write in the chat from where, you, where your feet touch the ground, from where you're calling in, uh, that we have an idea of the global connection since we're inviting a global community into this call. Uh, for the Light Warrior Collective Meditations. That's it from the technical part. I hope uh, everybody's sound is working. I see some people sitting on the outside. It's awesome. Some beautiful wardrobe backgrounds as well. Yeah. Handing over to myself regarding introduction and framing. Yeah. Um, Inking handed it over to me. Uh, she decided that because uh, it was my birthday too two days ago and maybe <laughs> that birthday energy uh, is resonating while doing a little intro. Uh, it has been a really beautiful ride with this uh, beautiful people of the Light Warrior Collective, I have to say. Uh, it's really a blessing that at the beginning of COVID that we kind of found each other for initiation of Inc. And uh, we all stumbled together into a, <laughs> a Facebook chat. And out of that, uh, these meditations were born and now are continuing. The first thing was just like, do, let's do one. Then we did two. And now I think we're almost reaching 20 meditations soon. Uh, so this is quite, has been quite a ride. The intention is uh, for us to come together. It was born out of a Mind Valley quest, uh, which we all have done, uh, be extraordinary. And then uh, COVID kind of started arising all around the globe beginning of the year and Inken had this beautiful idea of doing a global meditation for healing and coming and yeah raising our individual and collective vibrations and now we're here now a total of 20 people doing this today uh, and there has been a max of 50 people once in one of the meditations so it has been very beautiful and very nurturing for me and for us and we will continue to do this. Uh, and yeah, also looking now for maybe expanding this beyond uh, meditations to see what else can help us and ourselves and you and how can we be of service to each other in raising our vibration to just be more in health and approach these chaotic times with more groundedness and centeredness and love. Uh, it is wild and uh, crazy out there, especially in some countries. It has uh, become very, very weird and confusing. So starting inside of ourselves, raising our vibration will bring more groundedness and love to all the people around us. So all get comfortable in your seats, sit straight, take a deep breath. <sighs> and thank you for being with us today. And I hand it over to our meditation master, uh, Trent. All right. Well, thanks again, Hendrik. Great job as always. And uh, 
thanks for everybody coming. This is such a special group and I've definitely felt so much benefit from it. And I, I hope, you know, you guys have too. And I've seen the looks on the faces, you know, getting brighter and um, just, you know, seeing the well-being in these kind of crazy dark times. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's good to see that. It's good to experience that. And it's good to be a part of that. And thanks for you guys part of it. And um, yeah, let's just keep raising our consciousness and doing, you know, what we can from where we are, you know. And um, yeah, so today we're going to talk about authentic relationships. And it kind of goes back to the theme that we've been talking to like overall, which is doing what we can, you know, through what we can control, right? Like we can't necessarily control COVID. We can't control what our neighbor does. We can't control what the government does. I mean, sure, we've got to vote here and there, but I mean, we really can't like control these things that are external. But we can control our state of being. We can control our consciousness. We can control how we direct our attention and focus. And so this is really kind of the thing that underpins everything that we do, which is, okay, let's do what we can to raise our consciousness. Let's do what we can within our spectrum of control, which is ourselves, and, and you know, go from there. So you guys are here for that. And um, yeah, let's go from there with relationships. You know, it's, it's so much about the other person sometimes. So this is mostly going to be about shifting what we can within ourselves and rather than waiting for everybody else to change, you know, waiting for the world to change. It's like, wh let's change ourselves. What can we do to change ourselves and go from there? We're going to use letting go. So a lot of what we're going to talk about today is manually letting go so i'll say some phrases i'll say okay can you let this go and really what you want to do when we're when we're letting go is just breathing into any contraction that you feel okay so you know if if i say something and it triggers you if you're like oh wow i really want love and you kind of like feel you're holding on you're clinging on to that you really want to breathe into that feeling let it be so allow that feeling to be there that contracted feeling like wanting feeling and then you can process it, then you can let it go. So that's gonna be what we primarily use today in the meditation. And so let's get started. Okay, so get comfortable where, you're, where you are. You want to close your eyes and start bringing your attention inward. Relax your scalp. You can relax your face. Relax your jaw. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms all the way to your fingertips. Relax your chest. Relax your back. Relax your stomach inside and out. Relax your hips, sinking into your chair, your surface. Relax your legs, all the way down your calves into the tips of your toes. And you want to take a deep breath all the way to your diaphragm. You can take a breath in the nose and then breathe out your mouth and sigh. So. Let the tension go. 
You can wiggle a little bit, just letting your shoulders drop, letting your body get more comfortable, letting yourself be more present. Let's go ahead and take one more deep breath, just like we did now, all the way to the diaphragm. sighing it out. I'll now count us from 10 to 1 and with every step relaxing more and more. Going deeper into your self, into your inner awareness. 10 9 Eight, seven, six, relaxing more and more, five, four, letting everything outside go, three, two, one. Now with your attention inward, with your body relaxed, you want to now root and ground yourself. So you want to imagine roots coming from the base of your spine all the way into the earth, all the way down to the center of the earth this pulsating love resides. And you want to feel this grounding you, making you safe in your space. You can imagine this grounding expanding to the size of your body. You're safe, you're relaxed, you are in your safe space, your home. And you want to check the top of your crown and make sure it's open. Make sure you're allowing the light from above in to go down your spine and flow effortlessly through your body. Connected and flowing. Nice and easy. And now you want to focus first on the relationship that you have with yourself. So allow an image of yourself to come up, to arise, and allow yourself to take it in. The self-image, a symbol, and allow it to just be here. And immediately, if you notice any judgments you have against yourself, the way you look, you know, something that you always, some flaw you point out in the mirror, something you, you just don't like about yourself, can you allow that feeling, that contraction to come up, all this self-judgment, all this self-hatred, can you allow it to come up? Can you breathe into it? Can you let it go? And can you let it go some more? And 
can you breathe into it even more? And just allow this negativity, if there is any, to just dissolve and evaporate. To fade away. So where you can just see yourself without judgment. Just be. Now you want to bring into your awareness anywhere that you are not being authentic with yourself. Places where you may be wearing a mask, compromising unnecessarily, trying to be someone else to fit in. Can you allow this to come up? Any pain associated, contraction associated with this? Can you breathe into it? Can you let it go? Can you let it flow? And allow yourself to just be. Anywhere you're not loving yourself, where you're withholding love from yourself, allow yourself to become aware of that now. You're telling yourself you don't deserve it for some reason, you don't look a certain way, you don't act a certain way, you haven't earned it somehow. Allow yourself to feel this now, to be aware of that inside you are part of you. You can now breathe into that. Just let it go. And if there's more pain, if there's more contraction, you can continue to breathe into it. You can continue to let it be. even more. Everywhere you're trying to change yourself in a forceful way, you're trying to control yourself, but not from a place of love, from kind of a manipulative way. Become aware of that. Are you trying to force yourself to change? Not from a being standpoint, but from a mental forcing standpoint. Allow yourself to become aware of that. Breathe into it. And let it go. And if you need to shake a little bit to shake it off, just like a duck shakes off water, you can do that. Allow yourself to do what you need to let this process to let this go. And allow yourself to breathe deeper. Allow yourself to be more. Anywhere you're using fear as a way to manipulate yourself. Maybe you're fearing for your safety, uh, but you're using fear as a protection mechanism. Become aware of this now. Allow yourself to breathe into it and just let it go. Let it go some more.
let it go even more. So bring your body into your awareness, a picture of your body, all of its scars, all of its imperfections, whether they're true or not. And can you just love your body? Just for here and now, can you love your body as much as you can? And thank it for the good job it's doing for you. Can you breathe into your body and allow that image to dissolve and evaporate, allow that awareness to just fade away? You're gonna go deeper into yourself. So now your mind This thing that thinks, tries to figure things out. Can you send your mind love here and now? And thank it for doing the best that it can. Now, can you breathe into it and allow this awareness of your mind to dissolve and evaporate? Can you let it go? And now, bring up your ego. part that creates separation from the oneness. Can you love your ego? Not in an arrogant way, not in a, a superficial way, but as a way that you love something that does a function for you, something that serves you and is part of the whole. Can you think it? And in this moment, can you breathe into it and can you just let it go? Let it go some more, just for this moment. And now you're at more of a place of your core essence, your being level, the authentic you. So with a breath in to yourself, you can say, I, and the breath out, am. Try that now. Breathe in, I, breathe out, am. Do this silently to yourself. Mm -hmm. 
So from this place of source, from this place of being, can you now give yourself all the love you need in this moment? And can you love yourself some more? And can you love yourself even more? And can you notice what or who is the source of love? Where is it coming from? You can allow that to amp up even more. Really turn it up, turn up the volume on the love. And can you turn up the volume of the love even more? And fill up with love even more even more from this place of non-judgment of limitlessness of unconditioned can you love yourself even more and even more Any part of you that thinks happiness is in the future, that it's somewhere that you have to get, can you now breathe into that? And let that limitation go, that you have to get somewhere to be happy. And from the same source that's filled you with love, can you allow yourself to be happy without reason, here and now? Can you turn up the volume of your happiness? Can you feel good now, unconditionally? Turn up that volume, allow this rich emotion to become even stronger. It can be like a yellow energy that just expands beyond your body and fills you up and overflowing. And now that you have filled yourself up, that you have solidified the relationship with yourself, you wanna, you wanna now allow yourself to bring to mind relationship or relationships that you'd like to focus on today. Just see what comes up for you. It could be one person like your spouse, or it could be a group of people like your children or your coworkers or your friends. Just allow yourself to see what comes up when you ask yourself that question. thinking of these relationships. Everywhere you're wanting love from other people, like you're trying to get it from them, rather than be love. Everywhere you're trying to get love, get approval, get attention, get something externally. Allow yourself to feel that now. Allow that to come up Allow yourself to breathe into it. And can you just let it go?
can you instead be love now? Everywhere you're wanting to change other people, you want your spouse or significant other to be different, to change them in some way. You want to change the government. You want to change and control things that may be out of your control. It's a feeling of lacking power to change or lacking the power to do something. Can you allow yourself to become aware of this trying to control things externally? Can you breathe into that now? And could you let it go? And you can hold an intention to change things. But all I'm asking you to do is to let go of the struggle. To let go of the suffering and to rise in power, rise in power through raising your consciousness. Everywhere that you fear other people, big and scary, or whatever that is for you, different from you in some way, anywhere that triggers you, thinking different, looking different, being different in some way, fearing violence, fearing harm. Can you allow yourself to breathe into that? Can you let it go? You're not letting go of safety, you're just letting go of the lackful feelings moving up in the power to respond. Everywhere you're judging other people, allow that to come up where you're the one judging them. They have to be a certain way for you to love them. They have to look a certain way. They have to jump through your hoops. Can you allow yourself to breathe into that? And just let it go. And from your filled up place that you connected with today, can you send this person or these people unconditional love to the best of your ability here and now? Can you be love? And can you allow the sending love to expand and grow? Can you allow yourself to shine love without condition now? And if anything is blocking you, you can breathe into that and just let it go. Instead of judgment, can you send love? Even if you disagree, even if you don't like something about that person, can you love even more? Can you love even more? And even more.
and you can bring to mind someone that you see or perceive as an enemy or a threat or an other. This could be a political figure. This could be just a troll on Facebook or a family member that's just constantly getting on your nerves. Can you now see this person through the eyes of Source as best as you can in this moment? Can you love them regardless? Can you see the divinity within him or her and love? Can you love your neighbors? Can you love your state? Can you love your country? Can you love the neighboring countries? Despite whatever political climate there may be. Can you love the other? Can you love your perceived enemy? Can you be love now? Can you let go of anything in the way of that? Let go some more. Breathing deep all the way to your diaphragm. Let go of resisting love even more. Allow love to be here now. You can imagine the world and can you send peace to the world? Can you wish peace for the other? Can you send happiness? I wish you happiness to the other. May all beings be happy. And can you send love? all the people in the world, despite their political affiliation, despite where they're from, despite their differences, can you love? Can you give others permission to be themselves? be happy at peace and love and can you give yourself that same gift permission to be authentic to be yourself to be happy to have love to be love and to be at peace Amen. 
I'll now begin to count us back. And you wanna take this harmony within yourself with you this week, every day, with you, knowing that you are the source of love, you are the source of happiness, and that you are enough here and now, you are whole here and now, you are loved here and now because you are love here and now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, and you want to wiggle your toes, fingers. Slow it, slowly orient to your body. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you, Trent. Before we go into closing this off completely, if you feel like going home or something is calling you, feel free to leave the call. The next five minutes are just open. If you want to share something, put something in the, into the field, uh, something is on your heart and that wants to be spoken, feel free. A very interesting indicator for that is that like you feel a bit nervous and your heart starts racing. That tends to be, oh, that's something that wants to be shared. And otherwise, enjoy the silence with each other. And in five minutes, then we wrap it up completely. I want to talk a little bit about everyone's daily practice. So you know, you, you guys are coming to the meditation every week and that is absolutely wonderful. I mean, the connection element, the group element is just amazing. Um, this is more like a mindfulness type of meditation and this works certain parts of your brain. And also just the, you know, getting the vibes up or getting the love vibes, the happiness, it's really, really so healthy. Um, but on an everyday basis, I hope you guys have a practice that you're following. I mean, just like you hopefully take a shower every day, right? Um, what I would recommend is last week we talked about uh, some of the different tools. I would recommend doing a mantra meditation every day because that's going to be more transcendental. That's going to allow you to get out of your habituated mind and release stress and tension. And that way it's also different from when you come here, you'll get a guided mindfulness meditation 
um, which is a slightly different style, which will help you in, a, in a kind of a different way. So if you combine those two things together, I mean, you're going to be, I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll solve all your problems. I mean, you'll be feeling good. You'll be uh, sleeping well. You'll be just super relaxed all the time. Um, but also effective, right? Because you can get uh, so much done with less time. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out. Um, you, can, the, you can see the video from last week. It's posted on YouTube and uh, it has instructions, instructions on how to do that. But I'd recommend uh, at least 20 minutes a day, if not uh, two times 20 minutes a day of doing a mantra meditation and then coming here for the group element, for the, uh, the boost that you get from community and that sort of thing. So I'll, I'll post the link for everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Trent, for today. Thank you all for joining us and bringing your presence to this field. And looking forward to seeing a lot of you again next Sunday. If you haven't done so, we would uh, feel free to follow our Facebook page and the YouTube channel. If there's something on your heart and you have an idea how to contribute or how to expand uh, this vibration even farther uh, in the collective, let us know. Thank you all for being here and enjoy the rest, the beginning or the end of your Sunday, wherever you're at. And sending you all a lot of love and positive energy. And continue your practice. <laughs> So feel free to unmute yourself and say goodbye, and then we see each other soon. Goodbye. Thank you Bye. very much. Goodbye to all. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, all. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Love you. Happy to see you. See you soon. <laughs> Bye, Ciao. everybody. Bye, everyone.